Good morning, everyone. Oh, let's get centered. I am dressed in pink today. It's a miserable Sunday outside, but I am dressed in pink for a particular reason. As you probably know, we're in the middle of October and it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And a friend of mine has been raising awareness and funds for 19 years now. I think this is the 19th year. Yeah, because next year is her big 20th year of fundraising. And every year she does something, something really fun, something really nice to help raise funds and awareness. And this year she has arranged for us to do a 50K hike. Now we're not gonna do 50K each, we're gonna do, I think there's 10 of us, we're gonna do 5K each and we're raising funds. So I've got up super early this morning, this Sunday, I've got dressed in pink, I'm wearing black leggings, but I'm wearing this pink like sweatshirt thing and I'm also wearing like a pink tank top I don't know if you can see just you know just for a bit of fun we're all going to wear like a little bit a, a hint of pink a pop of pink and we are going down to I think it's Surrey I'm actually going to go to her house and then she's driving down from there but we're going down to somewhere in Surrey for a walk and to raise funds so I thought today might be a fun day if nothing else, just to get some beautiful countryside. Apparently it's really lovely, the spot that she's chosen for us to walk in. So I thought we could do it together. I've actually put on a bit of makeup. If I come into the light, I don't know if you can see, I've actually put on a little bit of makeup because Sunday mornings looking a little bit tired. Not a lot, but just a little so I don't look like I'm half dead. I'm going to have my coffee before we go because I don't think that there will be time to have coffee when we get to her house. It's quite the military operation in terms of getting everyone there. We're talking about Dersies, so the propensity to <laughs> be late for everything is high. So we've got like military style instructions. I have to be at hers by 10. I think we're leaving by 10 past 10. We're picking someone else up or just joining another car so we can go and convoy at 10 30. It's, it's been organized well, which I love. You know me, I love a good organization. I'm not going to take too much with me, but I am going to try and take this camera with me so that we can get some nice footage while we're out there. And if you want to donate any money, I know I donate every year. But if you've already donated money to Cancer Research UK, obviously, you know, you, you've done your bit. But if you haven't donated any money to Cancer Research UK this year, in the month of October, when we do talk about breast cancer awareness, then I'm going to put a link down below. Please, please donate. And I hope, maybe in my lifetime, definitely hope by my, in my children's lifetime, that we will have found a cure for cancer. The fight goes on and you do whatever you can. I think I'd be stupid not to take a coat, so I'm taking this massive puffer, which is so comfortable. It's an old Celine one, and it's got this beautifully fluffy hood, and I would be really stupid not to take gloves, but of course I cannot find any gloves. I haven't got my gloves out for the season, so I'm just taking these. I, they're not necessarily gonna keep me warm, but they'll keep the wind off my hands. And I think, <laughs> I think I'm actually ready to go early on time. Oh, I'm going to definitely put my Apple watch on because I want to record the steps. Let's see how many steps we can get in today. I'm aiming for 10,000 steps every single day. Oh my goodness. I haven't told you the most exciting, exciting information for me anyway. So as you probably know, it was Amazon Prime Day a few days ago, last week, I think. And there was nothing I wanted. My daughter got crazy buying a whole load of things, but she needs them for her house you know that she's living in now for university lots and lots of things so she saved them all up to buy them on Amazon Prime Day I didn't want anything apart from one thing and I just happened to mention it to my husband um I think on the first day of Amazon Prime Day I think it ran for two days and I just said this is there's only one thing I want from Amazon Prime Day this year and it's something that I've been talking about for a while like been talking about it for a year now and just hadn't kind of bitten the bullet because it's quite expensive anyway he then got busy, he started researching because he has to research every single major purchase that we do and managed to find the most incredible walking pad. So we used to have a treadmill back in the day. Sorry, I'm rambling and I ought to get going. We used to have a treadmill back in the day when we had a home gym. 
we got rid of the treadmill when we needed more space as, as we had more kids. This is a walking pad, which is just, I'll show it to you, hopefully at the end of this video when I come back from the walk in Surrey, but it is absolutely incredible. We're keeping it in the living room so that you can just walk on it while you're watching TV or whatever, and you just get your steps in. And especially now that the weather is changing and you no, know, I don't know about you, but going out in the cold and the wet and the rain is not the one for me, but I do want to walk. I love walking. And this way you can just get your steps up by the end of the day. So yeah, we've got it. I think it arrived on Friday. We've already started using it and I love it. And the whole family can use it as well, which is great. I don't feel so bad. And we did manage to get, I think 23% off the price because it was Amazon Prime Day. So I will show that to you. But yeah, I need to go and get my Apple Watch before I forget because otherwise I'll walk out and I won't have it. And not that the steps aren't going to give me any benefit, but you know, you kind of like to see the numbers, don't you? I also just remembered that I had bought this bag. I can't even remember how long ago. This is from Osprey. There's an Osprey shop near us. And I bought this ages ago when I was with a friend. She convinced me to buy it and I have never used it. I've literally just taken the tags off it. But it goes really well for today. It's pink and I think that dusty pink that it is goes really well with the car keys. So I'm going to take this bag because it's um, crossbody and I'll be hands free and I'm ready to go nice putting these on badges this is Hajra she is the one who's organized it do you want to tell us about what we're doing today yes yes we are doing think pink hike we're doing 50 miles and this 50 is miles or 50k five zero 50 miles, miles or k no miles miles oh kilometers okay so it's 50 sounds better so I got 50 miles yeah and we're doing it as a combined effort and I'm so super excited and this is the 19th annual think thing that we're all part of today. And this is Adnan. What are you doing here, Adnan? <laughs> Zakaria? Yeah. Oh, yes. Are we all wearing these? Yes, Zakaria. Yes. Reluctantly. And Can you do mine? And we have got provisions. Hajar's brought, I don't know what. What have we got here? We've got like immunity shots, turmeric shots, water. <laughs> We are all ready to go. Everyone's just like popping into the Costa right now so that Lou breaks because there's not going to be any Lou's where we're going. Sorry for the guys. There's, I think, two guys. How many? No, three guys on the walk, right? Yeah, they're fine. But the ladies, we need to, you know, obviously stop here before we head out. I forgot my sunglasses. I cannot believe I forgot my sunglasses. Luckily, I brought the hat, although it looks very cloudy, but everything is in order i'm keeping my coat on we've been deciding whether to keep the coats on leave them in the car i'm going to take mine with me i'd rather just carry it to be honest Okay, ladies, do you want to say anything for the YouTube channel? Why we're doing what we're doing? And <laughs> okay, hold on, I have to walk backwards. Hold on, let me, let me turn around, I have to walk backwards. Tell me if I'm going to fall over something. Okay, ladies, here we have Noreen and Afshin. Let's hear it. Why are you doing this? What does this mean to you? So, we have a bunch of friends and family who have been afflicted with breast cancer over the last few years. It's a fantastic initiative. So we're trying to do some fundraising on a fantastic day uh, out in what are we, sunny, sunning day. Um, trying to raise some funds for a fantastic cause. And we've been doing this for years. So every year Hajra, uh, you know, does something uh, for cancer research to raise funds. And uh, I've been participating for several, several years. It's a, um, Course that's very dear to my heart. I've lost several friends to cancer, so I feel quite deeply about this um, uh, this cause. Thank so you. happy to be here. See if I can get the others to talk as well. But it is important to know why people do this, because something, just one thing out of that, might even just resonate 
with you. Now I'm sounding preachy, but you know what I mean. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're excited. Because uh, you guys, I brought the luck. That's okay, I'll pick it up. To oh, get this worry. quality okay. portini. Guys, come on. Stopping for a group photo, <laughs> but let's see how long it takes to get into the photo. Not in come. Not in come. Not in come. I'll take it. I don't want to be in. The phone for you, know. Oh, that just yeah, silly, guys. No. We need to move on. <laughs> Who's taking it? Adnan, 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 come, Adnan, 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 Adnan come then. Okay. Adnan, sorry. Adnan, you come on this side. Adnan, you sit here and give it to him. <laughs> Who's over there? She doesn't want to be in it? You have to look there. And put your hand down. You literally demolished it in the middle of it. Ow. No, like we have yeah. just yeah. found yeah. a poisonous yeah. mushroom. Yeah. In case you're wondering, the reason that everyone is so excited about the mushrooms, we actually did just find a porcini mushroom as well, is because Hajra also has a company called Black Gold Experiences, um, and it's all about truffles. She has a truffle hunting dog. She goes on foraging trips for truffles and she also does supper clubs and things like that. But um, I will link everything for Hajra down below in the description if you want to see it. It's obviously not the reason we're here. We're here obviously to raise funds for breast cancer, but why not have a look for the truffles and the other mushrooms? I don't think we're going to find truffles. It's mushrooms. We might find some more mushrooms. Yeah. And then we found chicken of the woods. This I've never one. been able to find, by the way. Huh? Chicken of the woods. Yeah, yeah, that is not chicken of the woods. But I. But it literally looks like the back of a chicken. Yeah. yeah. Oh, like tail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is quite delicious. It's orangey. It's, anyway. it's very meaty. Oh. They all have different uh, oh, relationship with the habitat. The next day, it definitely didn't go as planned yesterday in terms of vlogging. In terms of the hike, it was such a fabulous experience. We did about eight and a half kilometers each, which I think is over five miles each, which was the plan because we were trying to do 50 miles between us. So 10 of us. Yeah, so we did do that. And then we went for the most lovely lovely pub lunch my goodness this place is worth drive it's an hour drive out for me but I would definitely go back there the pub lunch was incredible so busy because we got there at about 2 30 so we had to wait a little bit for a table I didn't really vlog there there were so many people around and you know it's kind of you have to be conscious that not everyone wants a camera being flung around I had the biggest plate of battered fish and chips battered battered cod and fish and chips but the roasts that were going around the sunday roast i almost ordered a sunday roast because the the yorkshire puddings looked massive they were bigger than my head <laughs> but i um decided to do fish and chips because i don't really get the chance to do fish and chips that often so it was really really nice got back quite late i think got back about quarter to six and i was exhausted wasn't hungry at all and ended up eating junk should have just had a proper meal. My husband, my darling husband, had cooked a lovely, lovely dinner. I just wasn't in the mood to eat anything, to be honest. And then, of course, you get the munchies later on. So I ended up eating like popcorn and junk and I shouldn't have. So I'm going to try and be good again today. Although I am heading out. I'm halfway through doing my makeup, in case you think, well, what does she look like? I'm halfway through doing my makeup and uh, I thought I would just pick up the camera and say hello. By the way, yesterday, and I don't know how, I broke a nail. And I am so annoyed. I mean, look at the state of that. It's horrible. I can't bear to look at it. So I'm going to try and fix that somehow before I go out. And I'm going to the Barbican to see an exhibition with one of my oldest friends. We've known each other since we were 16. It's always been hard for us to meet during the day because of her work schedule. But she's recently stopped her work which means she's free during the day. So we're going to go and see an exhibition today at the Barbican. And then I'm heading into the West End. So Barbican, if you don't know, is more kind of on the east side of London. And I'm heading into the West End to meet a friend who I've known since I was 14, I think. Um, a friend of mine who lives in America. He's American. And I'm meeting him. He seems to be popping over to London loads. I still don't know why, like back and forth for the weekends. So I'm going to meet him. I haven't seen him for years. When I say years, I mean 
I don't think I've seen him for like 10 years. He has been back and forth to London quite a bit, but I've never managed to meet him. It's always been last minute when he tells me he's coming into town and I just, I have, you know, plans and I can't change them. So I haven't. Today from the Barbican, I'm going to head over to the east, to the West End to meet him and also his girlfriend who I have not met, but I think they've been together for two years. So that would be nice. I don't know where I'm meeting them yet. Either I'm going to meet them, depending what time I finish at the Barbican. Either we're going to meet for like an early dinner or I'll meet them for drinks after their dinner. So I'm not quite sure what to wear because I want to be comfortable for shuffling around the exhibition at the Barbican. But then I also want to kind of look nice for when I head into town to meet my friend. I think I'm just going to have to go with jeans and maybe take a nice pair of shoes to change into when I get there because the weather is miserable outside. It's raining, it's grey, there's a little bit of a chill in the air. It's not cold, but it's not nice weather and it could downpour later as well, so we don't know. But I've had a really chilled, relaxed morning. I set no alarm this morning, so I got up quite late for me, like 10 to 9, and it's kind of nice to do that on a Monday because normally Mondays are manic <laughs> so it's been really nice to have that little bit of a lion on a Monday. I've been using, I don't know if you can tell, I'm looking very shiny, I've been using some castor oil as a little mix into my eye cream and into my day cream and into my night cream actually just to get some more nourishment and moisture into my skin because at this time of year my skin does get really dry I will link the one that I use. I really trust this castor oil. You have to be careful when you buy castor oil. But this one I really trust. And I feel that it is pure enough for it to go really right under my eyes because it's where I'm really dry, especially, as I said, at this time of the year. So I've been using some castor oil and I used a different cleanser today from the Somji Skincare. I went to the launch last week. Well, a soft launch. I think they've been, it's on sale for a while, but they did a little press breakfast at Claridge's. So I went to that last week and I used their charcoal cleanser. Oh, it's such a dream. I use that this morning and I'm really loving how, oh my God, my hair. So I was going to wash my hair, but seeing as it's pouring with rain, I'm just going to wear a hat or something like that because there's no point washing my hair in this weather. It's just going to go frizzy. I'd rather wash it when I come home tonight, which is a bit, a bit mad, but that is kind of how I do things. In terms of what I'm going to do to fix that nail, I got this. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. I haven't used it yet, but it's like a little gel nail. Um, I don't know. You kind of stick it on and then you use the little LED light, UV light. I think it's a UV light to kind of harden it and then I can file it into the right shape. I hate doing this. I in a sense, I would rather just cut all my nails short, but this is really short. Like, I just don't know how I broke this. Horrendous. Look at the state of it. Um, so I'm going to do that right now. Probably not going to film myself actually doing it, but I will show you the end result. Wish me luck. <laughs> okay, I have fixed the nail, kind of. I need to go and paint it, but basically it's like... I don't know what the material is. You just kind of cut it to shape. Obviously I need to file this now because I haven't filed it yet. And then you just shine the light on it for about 60 seconds and it is now as hard, as hard as nails. So I'm gonna go paint it and um, hopefully this will just, it just has to last me this week. It just has to last me this week. And then at the weekend I will have time and I think I'm gonna cut all my nails down to super short and just let them grow together at the same time because I hate this kind of I hate this it's done look at that look at that I've actually managed to do can you see that I've actually managed to do my own nail if I can link that little thing that little set I will link it for you down below I actually don't even remember where I bought it from I bought it ages ago it's been just hanging around because I don't really use these kind of things but it has definitely come to the rescue I think I can make that work for the rest of this week and then at the weekend when I have time like I said I'm going to cut all my nails really short but it actually even looks better than my own nails I'm really impressed I have half an hour before I go so I'm just going to chill with my husband for a little bit and then he is going to drop me to the station so I don't even have to park the car too far from the tube and walk in the rain 
I'm feeling a little bit chilly, so I think I'm going to put on a little tank top over this and just layer up. Um, yeah. Thank you. 